Yes, Diablo Cody still writes movies. Uh, it's it's been a while, I'll admit. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Lisa Frankenstein. Now, I actually had two good reasons why I wanted to see this. One, I like the vibe that I got from the trailer. I didn't expect anything like woo. I was just expecting maybe a funny little comedy with some homages slash harkening back to 80s comedy movies. And we have a script written by Diablo Cody. I find that that might've been like an up and down thing. It was only a few years ago that I finally watched Juno for the first time and I understood why it was popular then, but it has definitely aged. But the other reason why I wanted to watch this movie is because Zelda Williams, Robin Williams' daughter, was directing this. This was her directorial debut. It's a guilty kind of pleasure in terms of how the story progresses with following Catherine Newton's character, Lisa. She is kind of this somewhat mute because her mother was brutally murdered by an axe murderer. And now she lives with this new family from her father who remarried. And now she has the step, well, I guess a sister-in-law, stepsister. And the dad is also played by the same dad from fucking Stranger Things. He's playing the exact same character, the exact same lazy dad. I guess he's just typecast as that and he just accepts it. Obviously she has some social quirks and she doesn't really get along with people. And she has these oddities and kind of interests in things like the cemetery that is up on a hill. And then all of a sudden this random green lightning burst comes down and it resurrects this dude played by Cole Sprouse who shows his loyalty to her. And they slowly start to form this bond to the point where it almost goes to a point of lunacy and it veers on Heathers to a, to a point in terms of how brutal the movie gets towards the end. Lisa Frankenstein was a real fun time for the music. The dialogue, some people might find it cringy. I thought it was kind of funny. There were some jokes that actually just made me outright laugh in the theater. My impression of how this film went is that it was a fun time to put together, just with how the story flows, how the sets move from one to another. This wasn't meant to be a be all end all. This wasn't meant to be a big wiggy to do, like this is me making my directorial debut, all on guard, bro up the red carpet. This was to make something that was funny and fun. And I can say that it checked off both of those check marks. I thought that Zelda's directing was pretty good. I liked how the camera work was a little bit more involved in the scenes than most would be. Like I was almost expecting CW kind of just plain boring ass coverage. They did have a little bit of artistic kind of influence into it both with the medium and how they showed it as well as these little dips into animated and whatnot i also want to give absolute props to the hair department because Catherine newton's hair gets more and more fabulous as the movie goes on i know i'm not exactly one to <clears throat> judge or have any kind of thoughts about hair but i can appreciate it when it looks real damn good and her whole aesthetic goes from this kind of social awkward person to a person fully in their own element. As I said earlier, very Heathers-like. Fantastic job by the hair department and the costume department, bar none. Does the movie kind of end on an incredibly stupidly silly note? Yeah, I could say so, but I thought it was cute. I think that's actually probably one of the best ways to say it. Like I said, it's nothing to shout home about. It's not anything trying to be groundbreaking or trying to be philosophical. It is just a dumb, fun comedy movie, and we do not get those in the theaters that often anymore. The fact that this came out in theaters and that one with John Cena, Jen Jenny Sinehi, or whatever it is, is only on Amazon, that movie would have been fun to see in the theaters, but oh well. In the end, I'm gonna give Lisa Frankenstein a four out of seven. I thought it was fun. I thought I had a good time. Yeah, it's not the most woohoo movie, but I'm happy that Zelda did a good job with her first directorial film. And I am interested to see if she continues in this route, if this is kind of the thing that she's gonna do, if she's gonna try something else. Either way, I will be interested to see what she does next. Let me know if you guys saw this movie. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Very interested to see what you guys have to say. Otherwise, that's all from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.